NFL playoff picture here at NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Mitchell Renz, Tom Downey, breaking it down for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys click that big red button. Let's get on into it, Tom. The number one seed, the Seattle Seahawks. Currently, things can change. They changed this past week. The Packers were number one. They lay an egg. They drop down to number three <laughs> because no one's going to be able to take that number four spot away from the Eagles. They're not going to move up. Bucks also there with the two seed. Remember, there are some changes this year. A, the extra wild card spot, which the NFL currently exploring some backup contingency plans to maybe make it, I like it. a extra wild card hey, spot. Hey, more playoff for football, total. baby. As of right now, there are six wild card weekend, weekend games, and the buy means extra this year because as of now, there's only one available. That means a lot in the NFL. Love it. Let's go down to the AFC, the only undefeated team remaining, the Pittsburgh Steelers at 7-0. Look, Pittsburgh looks pretty darn good. The Chiefs are threatening. The Bills, Titans, and Ravens, though. There's a little bit of a gap right there with the way those Absolutely. teams have played as of late. We'll talk more about them in depth here in just a second. The Colts are just humming along, winning games, playing good football. And the Browns, as weird as this is right now, Mitch, because the Raiders have played one less game, they still have the seven seed. So go ahead and shout out your favorite team in the comments section below. Let us know. When you turned on today's show and you saw NFL trade deadline, you're like, wait, did my team make a move? Let us know who you guys are rooting for. Mm -hmm. And if you do have a favorite team, I'm sure you do, go get yourself some brand new gear at chatsports.com slash salute. Tom, we got t-shirts. We got hats. There are jerseys, too. Jerseys. That jersey. I like the camo jersey, man. That jersey, last time I checked, $49.99. Hey, it's cents. better than some of the Rams' current uniforms, too. <laughs> That's, uh, that one's an absolute fact. If you like camouflage hats, camouflage jerseys, also all proceeds go to organizations that benefit the Salute to Service program by the NFL. If you want some new gear, all 32 teams, mm -hmm. it's also like 2020, 2019, and the 2018 gear that they released. It's available at that link, chatsports.com slash salute. Let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers, the number one seed here, Tom. I mean, they're just good. Now, the, the <laughs> scoring offense, I think, might be a little bit inflated based on the yards per game. But, look, offense, defense, always intertwined. They're yep. going to move to 8-0, Mitch. They got the Cowboys this week. They're not losing that football game. 8-0, I mean, that's basically punching your ticket guaranteed to make, to make the postseason. I mean, they've been a great story. I think they're going to be my pick to win that AFC North, which might get three teams in. in it's time to go to the defending champs, the Kansas City Chiefs. Harrison and I did our playoff projections. We had the Chiefs at number one. I don't know if they're going to be able to get over the Steelers. I, I, I think you'll see Pittsburgh lose a game, and I think if you're betting Super Bowl odds, which of course you can do, the Chiefs are still the favorites right now. Look, they've cruised past the Jets. The defense has done a good job of, of limiting the points they've allowed. The offense is still the offense. It's going to be incredible. Yep. I like where this Chiefs team is at. I, I think they're going to be a legitimate contender for that bye. And remember, the bye means more this year. It's just like the SEC, okay? Yeah, they're going to have to – if you're the Chiefs, your goal, get that number one seat. Get the extra time, get the bye. It'll pay off well in the end. So who's the best team right now in the AFC? Let us know in the comments. Is it the Steelers? Is it the Chiefs? Is it maybe the Ravens or another team? Scroll on down and let us know who is the best team right now in the AFC. Let's go to the three seed, the Buffalo Bills at 6-2, and two, leading the AFC East. And it looks a little bit weird not seeing New England as the number one seed in this division. But Buffalo, them and Miami, these are the top two teams. And they're going to end up playing the Seattle Seahawks this week, which is not going to be an easy game whatsoever. I'm still wanting to see a little bit more out of Josh Allen. The defense I had higher hopes for. They've had some up and down games. But if this team wants to really show that, hey, we belong, we can compete with the top teams in this conference, you got to get more out of Josh Allen. Look, the Bills were really hot the first were. month. And since then, it's been pretty iffy. I mean, look, the defense stepped up. If they don't force that fumble against Cam Newton, yeah. I mean, Buffalo might be here at 5-3 at and three and, and technically still in the, AFC, in, in the lead. But, I mean, it's not that close. So, another tough game coming up for Buffalo. It'll be a weird one because that's how all Seahawks-Bills games are. I think I'm going to go Seattle this one. I'm going to type in my S. Yeah, let us know in the comments who you got. Type S for the Seattle Seahawks. Type B for the Buffalo Bills. Looking at our live chat right now, 85% of the votes coming in for Seattle. I'm going to agree. I'm going to go with Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. I might have said a few weeks ago it could have been the Tennessee Titans. However, they've uh, had a few pretty rough games here, and now we're looking after a pretty bad game against the Bengals. 
Yeah, I am very curious to see how things end up going here for Tennessee. Uh, they're actually the four seed, by the way. Uh, five and two. I, I like what Tennessee has done this year. The issue is, is that they've struggled at times because the the the, the offense. Look, they were bad against the Bengals, and the defense wasn't great out of that They've been able to make some moves. They're posting the Bills in Week 9. The offense is good. Yep. They, they, they were hoping Vic Beasley, Clowney come in, and, and they fix the defense. Hasn't really happened so far, however. Next team up here at the 5 seed, the Baltimore Ravens at 5-2. and two, Just lost a heartbreaker to Pittsburgh. We expected them to take a step back for how good they were last and year. And the offense has. And the offense, though, has taken a major step back. This is a team that I had a lot. I actually had higher expectations of what they've shown Look, this year. Look, I don't really want to panic too much around the Ravens. It's the Madden if, curse, if, right? If, if, well, sure. <laughs> if I am going to panic, it's actually because they just lost Ronnie Stanley for the year, and the exactly. offensive line is not as good. But their losses have come against the Chiefs, who have just had their number. They're a great football team. Yep. It happens. And a, and a coin flip game against Pittsburgh. Sure. That's that's not the end of the world. They're still a playoff team. They can still make a run. Absolutely. I still think they're dangerous. I just kind of want to wait and see what ends up happening with this team. The Browns are lurking as well right now in the AFC North, but I think this is a Steelers division for at least the time being. Yeah, and I don't even really consider the Browns as being a legitimate threat. They have five wins against five bad teams. The only three teams that they've played have been halfway decent. Blown out against Pittsburgh, blown out against the Ravens, and they just got beat by the Raiders by 10 points. I mean, this is a clear-cut two-team two race, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So if you guys are looking for the best NFL coverage all season long, go ahead and subscribe. The link is below. We will put it for you guys in the chat. It's also in the description. We do videos every single day. We've had a video around, around the NFL for the last 365 days. We put out a new show every single three hours. If you're always looking for the latest NFL news and rumors, I promise you one thing. Chat Sports, we're going to keep you updated. The Colts at number six. This is a team where they lost week one. We went full panic mode. And since then, they've been very, very they've good. They've just been humming along, picking up wins, and under the radar have a top ten scoring offense and a top five scoring defense. That defense, by the way, is legit. Matty Booth has yeah. done a fantastic job. Technically speaking, they are actually tied with the Tennessee Titans for the lead in the AFC South. However, the Titans win that tiebreaker based on win percentage in division games. It's 2-0 for Tennessee. The Colts are 0-1 because Jacksonville. That's why they're the sixth seed right now. I think they're a good team. now, And look, they also, by the way, tied for the Ravens for the top wild card seed, yep. which will be determined in Week 9. It's, again, conference games is the tiebreaker right there, keeping you guys updated. It all gets weird. I think the Ravens bounce back and get on track here. You think the Ravens win I'm this game? I'm going Baltimore in this one, yeah. So how about you guys let us know who you think is going to end up winning this football game. You can go for the Ravens. You can go for the Colts. It's a good one, though. See, I'm actually going to go with Indy. I'm going to go with okay. Indy in this one. I'm, I'm really worried about the loss of Ronald Stanley, and I'm thinking that the Colts have had one of the best defenses in football. Mm -hmm. They're going to get after Lamar, who has also struggled. I think it's going to be a lower-scoring game. Give me the Colts and a nail-biter. might even come down to a field goal. You guys can get your votes in here, though. IND for the Colts, or you can type BAL for the Baltimore Ravens. Let us know who ends up winning this Week 9 matchup. Browns next up here as the seventh seed after a loss to the Raiders. Also, keep in mind the Raiders and the Dolphins, who were there at 4-3, and three, mm -hmm. and the fact that Las Vegas has the tiebreaker, it's something to keep in mind. Yeah, and the Browns, by the way, will have their <laughs> bye this week that would allow them – or could result in them, I should say, mm -hmm. in getting jumped in the current AFC playoff picture by a team like the Raiders or the Dolphins, depending on what ends up happening this week. Raiders and Dolphins have one fewer game. That's why they're 8-9. and nine. And you know what? Denver is technically lurking, too. I mean, technically lurking. We did get some news before we went today that Vaughn Miller at least has a chance to potentially come back. Could be a nice little boost for him. Could be a nice little boost. Had a great win over the Chargers. And Drew Locke, maybe, uh, maybe the hype is real around him. Let's look at now the Las Vegas Raiders, who have the Chargers on the road. But that's basically a home, home game in Week 9. <laughs> it's an offense that's been able to really Always click, is. especially with Henry Ruggs. The defense, though, I understand they gave up only six to Cleveland. That's the, still one of the worst offensive teams I'll, in football. I will make an important note here <laughs> that the Chargers always find ways to charger it, 
uh, which which is the, is the new Clemsoning, by yeah. the way. Uh, they they lose games they should not lose. And I'll say, producer Brett had it right. The Falcons and the Chargers. I think the Chargers are worse at this. How? They've done it for even longer. How? They are horrible. They are even – Falcons blow critical <laughs> games. The Chargers just blow all their games. Oh, man. I don't know, Tom. Chatsports.com slash stay safe. Obviously, there's two things that I've learned that you got to do today. You got to vote, yeah. and you have to end up wearing a face mask. So if you want to go and do at least one of them, I can at least hook you up with a mask. Chatsports.com/slash/stay safe. We got NFL player masks. They come in packs of two, packs of three. If you are looking for the best bang for your buck, if you oh, will, yeah. multi pack. It's 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 the pack of four, which I believe right now you can save nine dollars on. And if you want to go get get that hookup, Chatsports.com/slash/stay safe. High quality mask, machine washable. I think we can all agree. Man. I mean, it's it's something that everyone needs right now. So make sure you go out and get one. NFC time. Seahawks, number one. And this is a division that I can't believe I'm going to say it. I, I actually think it's only a two-team race. In the in, in the divi in, in, in the, in the conference. In the conference. Okay, I was about to say conference. That, a, a little bit different there. Um, I think the Packers could still compete. And Packers you know don't what? scare me. I wouldn't sleep on the Saints, Mitch. If they They've been get, playing better. If they can get Michael Thomas back, the offense will be a little True. bit better. But we'll start on Seattle, which has – as of right now, they have the number one seed. And the live chat, by the way, is all Seahawks fans. So, I mean, try and drown them out if you guys want there. Look, they, they always <laughs> find ways to win in fun fashion. Like, that's the, that, that, that's been their thing. They, they have a great offense, by the way. The number one offense in the NFL. The defense has been pretty mediocre. Um, yeah, I, I'm not pretty sure. mediocre. They've been, they, they've bad, been bad on defense. They've been bad. <laughs> they're, they're getting Carlos Dunlap. They go play the Bills in Week 9. I believe in this team because I believe in Russell Wilson. That defense has to be a little bit better. I can tell you what, week nine, it's going to be a weird one because Seattle can only play in weird games. It's the only thing that, that, that they have going for them. Let's go to the Buccaneers now at 6-2. and two. They have a huge game going on, and I see a lot of people in the live chat. If you're not a Seahawks fan, drown them out. Shout out your favorite team instead. You were right. You were right saying that the Buccaneers which, which are going to have I'm right a lot. one of the best defenses in football. Go. I actually think it's between them and Pittsburgh. The, the Bucs are so fun to watch defensively. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the, the, the points per game and yards per game isn't even indicative of how good this defense has Agreed. been this year. They get maybe their toughest test of the season. I think against, or I guess, a second toughest test because yeah. they played them once earlier. <laughs> they lost on the road. Correct. Now they get a home game in what will determine the, the NFC South leader, at least for this upcoming week. All right, with well, such a big game here, let us know who you got. Type NO for the New Orleans Saints mm -hmm. or type TB for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Both teams have been playing well of late. But I I'm going to go with the Buccaneers, man. Tom Brady, he's got the offense clicking. There's also a guy that's coming back this week. They didn't click week. early in that game against the Giants. The, the, the offense is still it's been a, a lot little, different without Chris Godwin. Been a little bit inconsistent. The offense has been a lot different without Godwin. Leonard Fournette, I thought, looked like the better running back, but they also get this guy named Antonio Brown. <laughs> we'll see if that's I'm a not, is that a positive. Yeah, I'm I'm not quite sure. The Green Bay Packers, the number three seed, after dropping one to the Kirk Cousins led Vikings. I guess I should say the Dalvin Cook led Vikings, who just rushed for four Look, touchdowns. They can't stop the run. Well, and I get that, that that's what the uh, what Mike Pettin's defensive scheme Isn't is. Isn't that what like, Jesus is supposed to do? Let Stop them things? run. It'll be fine. But they got the, their issues this year have been because teams have been able to run the football on them. Now they get the Niners who can run it, but with Nick Mullins at quarterback. And speaking of backs, Green Bay might be without their top three guys this week. <laughs> I know. It's an issue. So if, uh, if you get a random phone call from somewhere in Wisconsin, pick it up. It might be the Packers asking if you can play running back. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead and pick it up. Let's all go to the Philadelphia Eagles who are leading – the worst division. No, they're not in all leading. They're not losing the division. All right. Uh, we're we're, we're going to talk in the double negatives because what they just? didn't lose to the Cowboys in Week Eight either. The NFC East sucks. <laughs> uh, look, I have always been a, a proponent of the division winner gets a playoff spot. They they get a home game. Oh. I am. At, I think maybe you make an exception to the rule this year. Unless the Eagles figure it out. I can't believe what I'm hearing is, right now. Dude, this team, th these teams are terrible. I, I, I've I, been saying that the, the Honestly, NFC should not get a playoff just, team. Just give the number two team in the NFC uh, NFC West a spot. J just go ahead and do it. It's fine. Like it's. it's I mean, think about it. It has been that bad. We're, we're doing our power rankings. I don't know if there's a single team on here in the top 24, top 23. I mean. The, the, and they're going to get a home playoff the game. The Eagles turned it over four times and won by double digits. Carson Wentz, what, what are we doing, man? 
<laughs> All right, let us know here why for yes or and for no. Should the NFC East get a playoff spot? I understand what the rules are, mm. but no. You, you can't honestly look at this division and say, yes, somebody deserves a playoff spot here. It's like it's like the eighth seed in the East for NBA. No, you're, you're 15 games under 500. You shouldn't be in the playoffs. Let's go to the New Orleans Saints here, the number five seed who just beat the Bears 26-23 in overtime. That was a fun football game. If they can get Michael Thomas back, I think that will be a big addition to the offense. The defense, by the way, hasn't been as good this year either. Agreed. Arizona Cardinals at 5-2. and two. Big football game this week up against the Miami Dolphins. Under the radar, by the way. Top 10 in both offense and defense scoring-wise. And they have the most yards per game on offense as well. Coming off the bye, now they get two a time against the Dolphins. Let's stick here in the West. The Los Angeles Rams, who just lost to Miami 28-17 in a game where if you looked at the box score, you're like, wait a minute, how did they lose? Four turnovers by Jared Goff. Yeah, though. Jared Goof showed up again. Uh, he's not been great. It's going to be a fun seventh seed. The Rams might be able to sneak their way in because of the extra spot. Yep. But the NFC West is loaded. I mean, the Niners are decimated by injuries. That might end up killing them. Arizona yeah. looks legit. The Seahawks are, of course, one of the best teams in the NFL. And if the Rams can beat the bad teams in the NFL, that is almost always enough to get you into the postseason. The Bears, though, I think are one of their top threats. The Lions' schedule isn't that difficult. They're going to lose that Kenny Galladay, though. He might be going to IR, which would be a huge loss for Detroit. I mean, the Bears should be the team out of the ones that you see on screen that should get in. Mm -hmm. You just got to be mm -hmm. not horrible <laughs> offensively because that's another team where you're just pissing away a great defense. The Bears at 5-3 and three are my bet for the best mm -hmm. chance to end up figuring out a way to end up getting into the playoffs.